Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is a very short presentation to give an idea of the background of Masjid al-Aqsa to gain a better appreciation of it. What is Masjid al-Aqsa? The compound comprising 144,000 square, square meters, which includes within it many masjids like the Dome of the Rock, the Qibli Masjid. Uh, you will see trees growing there. There are paved walkways and all these are surrounded by these massive walls, most probably built by King Herod. It's situated on top of a hill on a mountain and it's called Mount Moria within the Bible. It's identified today as the Temple Mount. And this view gives you an idea of how high up Masjid al-Aqsa is uh, from the ground. It was built 40 years after the Kaaba. It eventually was situated near the village of Salem. Therefore, the city became known as Jerusalem. It is the area which Nabi Musa a.s. was ordered to go to. Nabi Dawud a.s. conquers this area 480 years after the Israelites leave Egypt. Then you would have the period where Nabi Sulaiman a.s. builds onto the old foundation. And that yellow area you see is the area where he added uh, foundation stones, massive foundation stones to flatten and stabilize the area because the mountain was obviously rounded on top. In the year 586 BC, the Babylonians under Nebuchadnezzar destroy the compound, destroy Masjid al-Aqsa. This was about 375 years after Nabi Sulaiman had built it. And then in the years 515 BC to 70 CE, we had the period which the Jews called the Second Temple. Herod expands it, the green area which you see on the slide. Uh, he expands it to add walls and he fills in this area. And Nabi Isa salam would most probably have seen it looking like this. In the year 70 CE, the Romans under Titus destroy the Masjid al-Aqsa compound and then it was left to the Muslims to then restore it and they added on areas to it as well. When you look at the expansion of Herod, then the area which is uh, identified as the section which was built by Nabi Sulaiman salam originally to be the Holy of Holies or the actual Masjid al-Aqsa. This would be approximately where the Dome of the Rock is today. The Qibli Masjid, which is a grey dome masjid, which is found uh, on, on the other end of the compound. This would be within an area which had been expanded by uh, the King Herod. In the year uh, uh, you have another masjid which is also interesting and this is an underground masjid called Masjid Marwani. The Qibli Masjid was built by Umar radiallahu an originally it's facing towards the Kaaba and if you look at the picture that you see now the, it gives you an appreciation looking at the walls that Herod had built it gives you an appreciation of how high up Masjid al-Aqsa actually is. The Dome of the Rock, which is the Gold Dome Masjid, originally was um, plated with gold, or was, was gold was used, 100,000 gold dinars were melted by the King Sultan Abdul Malik, and they, they were plated over the dome. 400 years later, there was an earthquake and it was damaged, so it was replaced by blackened lead. And then in 1955, King Hussein of Jordan uh, donated gold to make it once again gold plated. The Dome of the Rock is the area which the Jews face in prayer. Masjid Al-Aqsa is a significant masjid within the hadith we learn of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that if you read Salah within the Aqsa compound within Masjid Al-Aqsa then you will get the reward of 5,000 Salahs that you would read in your own in your house. And if you look at the significance of the region and the area Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam speaks about the significance of Al-Sham. Sham is that area which com comprises and covers uh, Palestine, Syria, Jordan. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says that the angels of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala spread their wings over Al-Sham. Ibn Abbas says that the city of Jerusalem, Al-Quds, is a place where the Prophet Sallallahu had lived and is not a space or not an area in that city where a Prophet has not prayed or an angel has not stood.